Microsoft Access Exercise 5 Creating the Booking Fee Summary Report In this exercise, we take the results of the Booking Fee Summary query that we've previously created and plug these results into a report. And the report is something that you can view on screen or print out on paper. And uh, it will be formatted nicely and it will be easier to read and understand. So let's uh, begin by clicking on Create report wizard. Now the report wizard will ask us a series of questions and af after we answer all these questions it will automatically generate the report for us so it saves us a lot of time. Okay so the first thing is um, which fields do you want in your report and if you look here there's a drop down list and it shows you all the tables and queries you have in this database. So we want the fields to come from this query, Booking Fee Summary, so we select that. And we want all the fields from the Booking Fee Summary query. We can click on this arrow and move them over one by one. Or we can click the double-headed arrow to move all of them at once. So that's what, that's what I just did. And you click Next. Do you want to add any grouping levels? At this point, we don't want to group our results, so we click Next. What sort order do you want? Okay, we, we want to sort by agency fee, and we want to sort by descending order, that means largest to smallest. Next. We want our layout to be in tabular and orientation to be in portrait, so there's nothing else to change here. Click Next and um, what title do you want for your report? We're just going to um, change this to R1 for report number one, booking fee summary and I click finish. Okay now this is the report that's automatically generated by the wizard for us. It's not perfect but it's already got us maybe more than halfway through. So to make the changes um, that we want, we have to go to the sign view. Now what changes do we want to make at this point? Well, first we need to change the order of the fields and we want to change some of the um, column names like booking fee of some. This isn't a very user-friendly column name. We want to change the report title and we want to add totals, grand totals down here. So the next part of our exercise will be modifying this report through the sign view. Now we're going to make some changes to the report that we just generated using the report wizard earlier. On the report tab, right click and switch to the sign view. Now when you're in the sign view, you can see all the sections of the report and the section names appear on this gray separator bar and you'll see that the first section is called report header and uh, we can change the report title here to a more user-friendly one we can uh, make this field a little wider we can change the font size we can make it bold okay now the next thing we want to do is change the order of our columns band name comes first then number of bookings booking fee and agency fee. Now at this point the uh, column names aren't very user friendly, some of them. Like this one, it says uh, booking ID of count. We want to change this number of bookings. And this one is booking fee of summary of sum. We want to change this to total booking fees. So let's go ahead and change the uh, field names here first. Now we can only change the field names on the page header. We can change it on the detail. Okay, so I'm going to change this to total booking fees and um, this one will be I'm going to uh, make band name a little shorter and um, number of bookings a little wider I'm also going to make agency fee a little shorter. OK, 
Okay, that should be enough room. Okay, so I'm going to change this now. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to um, change this to total agency fees. Now we're going to move the uh, band name column to the start of the row. So we have to move it as a pair. Click band name under page header first so that there's an, a border around it. And then on the keyboard, press the shift key and then use the mouse to click on band name on the detail section. And that selects both of them and you can move it a little forward. You can also select agency fee and move it a little backward. Now they'll overlap so it's a little confusing at some point but you just have to remember where each of them are. Okay now this has to go to the back. Number of bookings moves to the front. You also have to make sure that the um, column title and the data below it are the same length so they line up nicely and uh, I'll move total booking fees here and total agency fees to the back okay that should do it and um, now they're in the right order we can go to report view and check that everything lines up nicely and it does and uh, there's one more thing left to do. We need to add grand totals at the bottom of the report. So let's go back to the sign view and do that right now. Okay, under the sign, there's group and sort. Click that. You'll see a dialog down here. Sort by agency fee. That's correct. We did that earlier. Now there's a button here called more. And you'll see here with no totals. So we're going to add a total on booking ID of count, that's the number of bookings, sum, show grand total. And you'll see that it shows up here now. We're also going to click booking fee of sum, show it on the grand total, click agency fee, show a grand total. And uh, let's try this out now, go to report view. And there's our grand totals. One last thing, I want to add a line on top of the totals to separate them from the details. So one thing you can do is you can make any of these sections a little bigger by dragging down on them. Then I'm going to use the mouse to select all these three grand totals. I'm going to pull them down to make some room. And then above it, up here I'm going to draw a line. Here's the line. Select it. And then I press shift and press down and draw the line across the page so that it comes out straight. Okay, there's the line and now I go back to report view to see what it looks like. And there it's the totals have been nicely separated from the details and I'm finally happy with this report, so I'm going to save it. And that's the end of this exercise.